A man mistakenly grabs the wrong remote control. A toy helicopter flies towards him and hits him on the head. Intense pain makes him scream loudly. He becomes extremely angry. Because of this incident, he decides to search for a universal remote control. Upon reaching the supermarket, he asks the sales clerk, but is treated like a fool. Indignant. He continues his search. Passing by a mattress, he lies down directly and takes a rest. After a while, he discovers a door nearby. Curiously, he enters and finds a strange attendant named Morty. Michael asks him if there is a universal remote control. Morty indicates that they have the latest stock of remotes. They enter the warehouse, retrieve the remote from a container, and Morty introduces its functions to Michael. Michael inquires about the price, worried that he might not have enough money. Luckily, the remote hasn't been entered into the inventory yet, and Morty decides to give it to Michael for free. Believing he is a good person, fearful it might be a trap, Michael questions Morty's intentions. Morty advises him not to view the world so darkly. Michael accepts the remote, and as he leaves, Morty warns him that the remote cannot be returned. He tests the universal remote control, and successfully turns on the television. He praises himself as a genius. At that moment, his wife approaches him for a conversation. He presses the pause button on the remote, and the TV pauses. He rambles on without realizing his wife is also paused. Turning around to look at her, he finds her staring at him silently. He presses play on the remote, allowing his wife to return to her room to rest. The wife resumes normal activities and goes back to her room to rest. The barking of a dog disturbs him. He tries to quiet the dog down, but it continues to bark incessantly. Angry, he grabs the remote, frantically clicking the volume down button. With the control of the remote, the dog's barking gets quieter until it disappears completely, attempting to increase the volume volume. The dog's voice returns to normal. Confused about what just happened, he thinks it may be hallucinating. He takes the dog outside and lets it relieve itself. Feeling impatient during the wait, looking at the remote in his hand, he presses the fast forward button and the dog completes its business at an incredibly fast pace. He attends a business banquet with the remote control. Investors are dissatisfied with his design drawings. They go aside for a small meeting. Through the translation function of the remote, he learns about the investor's desired solution. After returning to the dining table, he dismisses his crappy design drawings and proposes a new plan to the investors. They are delighted with the new proposal. Michael successfully secures investment for the company. Upon returning to the office, he expects a promotion but is told it will happen only after the deal is closed. However, he has already shared the promotion news with his wife and spent a considerable amount of money celebrating. Michael is furious, presses the pause button on the remote, and then slaps Emmer's face hard. After Emmer returns to normal, he feels intense pain in his head, but then smiles again. Michael is still not satisfied, presses the pause button again, walks up to the table, and releases a significant amount of poisonous gas toward Amher's face using his buttocks. Then he lets Amher return to normal. Amher smells the odor, thinking someone added feces to his lunch. 